Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Brother, how are we doing? What are brother, you doing? brother. Special teams? Special players. How are we doing? Yes, sir. Like what? Just what are we talking here? Everything wise. What are we talking about? We're live right now. We're, we're going. We're fucking live. We're live and live here. And you know, this is how we're doing, all right? There's a lot of categories in life. We got... What, what are the categories in life? Um, relationship. Mental. Uh... Hungry? Finances? How about we just do the how about we do the the five uh, categories of men or five feelings of guys? Depression. Jim? Funny. Jim is a feeling? Yeah. There's like it's like memes, I forgot what it was, but it was like <laughs> oh boys only have five feelings. Happy, sad, Jim. And then there's like some stupid ass one. Definitely horny. Horny, there you go. Gotta be. <laughs> Gotta be. Gotta be. You think guys are more horny than women? I 100% do. Not even close. You know, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. I'm, maybe I'm basing it off of my own experience. I wouldn't say uh, that. I would say, you know, it really based on the person, in my opinion. I, I'll agree with that. I think. I could agree I with that. I think, you know, generalizing it and saying that, you know, guys are just overall hornier than women. Dude, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say so. What I, is What is the... What is the male to female capita? What? How oh. many more men are there than females? Oh, dude. Fuck. Do you think there's more male than female? In, the, in this country? Yeah. In this country, I'm going to say... I think there's more... I think there's more females, dude, honestly, than males. And it's sad to say, but a lot of males... Um, do do end up dealing with a lot of mental anguish and ends up leading to you know some horrific some shit. Up things i think a lot of men keep a lot of things pent up inside and i think you know just talk it out men need to seek help more often yes sir men need to stop um stop the tough guy shit so so with me um i brought it up before but like i'll bleep it but the homie he he was looking pretty sad today, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Physically, he looked like shit. And you can tell. And especially, you can tell. Especially when it's somebody that you see on a daily basis. And the thing is, people in this generation will not say, like, hey, you doing all right? They'll just let it go. They'll be like, oh, he looks sad, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to tell everyone he looks sad. I think. I but think. instead, I walked up to him, and I was like, hey, bro, you doing all right? He's like, yeah, I'm good. And then I stopped him. I was like, are you sure you're all right? Because you look like shit. I told him that straight up. But it turns out, well, it's not turns out, but I know what's going on with him. Um, we'll leave it off pod. I'll just cut it real quick. We're back. Anyways, it's been fucking with him. And uh, I guess it's really taking a hard time with him. Uh -huh. it's, really, it's really really getting to him. See, and, and I also noticed that you generalize that too, you know what I'm saying? Sciatic nerve? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Um, you know, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I, dude, I literally knew exactly what I was going to say. I think you need a blinky, dude. I knew exactly what to, I was going to say. You need to lock in. And, um, no, no. I lock, generalized. What was I generalizing? No locking in here. You were generalizing something, and it offended me. And Men not <laughs> saying their feelings? No, no, no. So, fuck. As men, I think you need to just sit down with your fucking best friend. And if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling like... If Hoser's not feeling like normal Hoser, you need to come fucking tell me. And we need to fucking, like, hey, I'm not feeling good. And that's okay. Shit happens in life. Shit happens. You know? You know? It's okay. It's okay. I think more men should do that with their bros. If you don't have a bro... Make a bro. Make a bro. AI, I don't know. No. Did you see what I posted on my Instagram story? Just right now, like an, like an hour ago. What was it? Remind me. So... I've had a tragic, a tragic thing happen recently. This actually really upset me. I was really upset. Like, not... It really upset me. I lost all my photos. Oh, that's everything, right. Everything. Fucking everything. I'm going to fucking Apple next. Hey, next that fucking, is totally something to be upset over, dude, for sure. every fucking photo. And 
my girl's like, well, you still have like the Snapchat stuff. I was like, yeah, I know, but more recently, like this past year or so, I've really, really, really dialed back on the Snapchat because you know how I got, you know, I was, I've recorded anything. I yeah. really dialed back. It was more photos now. I went to more photo based. Fucking gone. Fucking gone. And then she's like, well, why did you back it up on Google? And I was like, I had so much photos that it made me max, like, not even half the photos. It was bad. Where was I going with this? You're going to Apple now. Probably. Wow. Why it, is that? That pissed me off so bad. Really? It pissed you off to the point to where it's, it's literally making you change. That's literally what I did with PlayStation. Literally. I got hacked. They wouldn't get my shit back. I went to a fucking Xbox. Wow. So you're fucking Kevin Durant. <laughs> I you're that. literally. Hey, I need that ring, baby. You're literally you Kevin that. Durant. I need that, dude. How's that snake? The f- OKC didn't do shit to Kevin Durant. We had him an MVP. We brought him James Harden. We brought him fucking Russ. Are you kidding me? Are so you fucking any, kidding me? If anything, Kevin Durant's a bitch. Kevin Durant's a fucking bitch. He couldn't win with that team. He shake your fucking head. Get get your phone out. Not your money up. Goddamn right. Put some fucking lotion on your legs, boy. The fuck? Why the fuck you leave us like that? We could have won a championship. With you. Get some fucking landscapers. Put some sod on that fucking head, God. dog. You need some new grass. God. That should look like a my fucking dried ass what, backyard. Where was I going with fuck. this conversation? So now I lost my train of thought too. KD's gonna flame us on his burner. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna comment on every of our videos. These guys are fucking trash. Did you see what happened with J. Cole? You know what, dude? dude? Yes, I did. Bro, I'm gonna stand on big. Hold on. So you're giving me your, your opinion right there. That's how you feel about it? That's how you feel? I have two things. Just recently, just yesterday, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. You were spaz- 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 spazzing out right there. I got a little scared. Um, just recently, I saw a thing from Nardwar. It was from six weeks ago, and he was like, "Oh, this is from our, this is from our, uh, this is from our video of our second time meeting J Cole." Nardwar is a goat, by the way. Nardwar is a goat. Goat. And he said, "Is it true that you introduced um, Kendrick to Dr. Dre?" And he goes, who the fuck told you that? Who told you that? And I was like, oh, they're just posting this shit because he just dropped the diss. Nah, dude. <laughs> I was looking. There was comments from six weeks ago. This video is at least six weeks old. At least six weeks old. So it's like, why the fuck is J. Cole dissing him? And then going out like, oh, Kendrick, I'm sorry. Like apologizing the day after it drops. Like fucking stand on it. Stand on business. You know what? Okay, give me your second Give me your second opinion. Uh, was J. That Cole... It? Like, bro, if you're going to drop a diss, drop it and fucking like, yeah, I fucking said it. Mm. Or if you did make the diss and you don't really want the, the flame for it, cut out the fucking album. Why drop it? Why be a bitch? I totally understand that because I feel the same exact way. He's being, he's, he's pulling some bitch ass shit. That's some bitch ass shit. Right? Okay. But, <laughs> but let me, you know, let me add to that as well. Okay. J. Cole is the type of guy that you look at him and you hear his music, what he's about. He wants peace. He wants unity. Yeah. He's not a fucking slasher. He's not cutthroat like that. Kendrick is cutthroat, cutthroat like that. Yes. But didn't Kendrick and Drake drop a disc first? Isn't that what happened? I don't know, honestly. I, th- I and think Drake, that's what happened. Drake also. Drake is even... Drake has no business dissing nobody. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Just recently, a shout out Des Madre. A shout out them. The merch. That's right. I got some more coming in, and maybe six months or whatever it gets here. But fire. Anyways, uh, some real hood fools right there. I don't know how it happened, but this was like a week ago. Jake commented something about like Drake times Des Madre, like as a joke, I guess. I forgot what happened. Mm-hmm. But then we started like mixing the names together. So I was like, Chuki's room. Uh, you know they have the south side, south side of heaven? I fucking, uh, something like that. I forgot what I said. The sixth side of heaven or some shit. We were just mixing the names up of songs. It was funny. It was, it was a good little shout. Shout out Drake, I guess. Even though I don't really like your voice. They should, they should collab. They should collab. No, collab, and then, then they'll put Desmadre on the map, and they'll be Huge. ultimate big. They're coming out to Pomona soon. Absolutely, and and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna catch that. We're gonna catch that. We're gonna get very ignorant for them, very violent for them. We're gonna get ignorant. We're gonna get ignorant up in this bitch. We're gonna get retarded. Uh, just recently, 
You know what? I'll come back to this. Let's finish this Kendrick Lamar shit. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, dude. So here's the thing. And I saw J. Cole explaining why he did it. And first of all, the name of... of uh, I've never seen this, okay. ...was Might Delete Later. Of the song? Of the... It was on the fucking album cover. Might Delete Later. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but J. Cole was also saying that... Um, this was actually the speech he gave live at his show. This was at uh, Dream Dream Dreamville Festival or whatever. Oh yeah, he's part of Dreamville. Some shit like that. Yes, he, sir. he is Dreamville. You know what I'm saying? But it's at the festival that he throws or whatever. He was saying uh, pretty much how how he felt bad, like he felt like it was eating at him, like his consciousness was just. He felt guilty for making the song, for making the song, for putting it out there because he. That's although, what I mean. It like it's just he. That's what I'm saying, and that's exactly what I'm saying when I say J Cole is not the guy to fucking do that, to be malicious like that, you know. So okay. that's why when he did that. So now I have two initial thoughts to that. Okay, for one, like I said, if you really don't want the backlash for it, don't drop the song. Maybe let it get leaked one day. It's possible. Producer here is just like, hey, bro, I want to leak this shit. I need you, I need you to get flamed. Because people are malicious <laughs> like that. Two. Lost my train of thought again. He needs to send it to AD, to his burner phone, <laughs> and he will leak it. He will leak it. Um, number two. Bro, if you're just like, why? Oh, there you go. There's my second thought. I know Kendrick and Drake just dropped a diss on J. Cole. I don't know why. I don't know what their beef is, okay? I know, I guess we're trying to be number one. You really gonna beef over that? Like, come on, grow up. Anywho, did he make this in response to the the diss? Is this a diss response? And like, he just made it real quick and then dropped it into the album, like, I, I added it with it. I, or did he have this diss for a long fucking time? No, I, I think I think it was made as, as a, a response. response. So like he th- I think it might have just been like, hey, they just said this like two weeks ago, put it in the album. I know, I'm making I, it. I don't know the full story as well, you know, so this is just the kind of shit I'm pulling out of my ass. Uh-huh. But I do think it it was as a response. Cause he does feel bad about it, you know? Yeah. But I think like, you know, him as a man, he's like, hey, I can't let that slide. Cause it I think He's very he, humble. If he had that in his back pocket for a while now, he would not have felt bad for it. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Because I, because I, he yeah. would have been fucking ready to yeah. to pull the trigger yeah. and show the world what he has in his fucking pocket. Yeah. I think this was a response, me personally, like you said, and he does feel bad about it because he's not about that, and uh, he just like you know as a man I had to respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I respect. And speaking about responding, Eminem's a goat for that shit for diss tracks. Anywho, but diss tracks. That Kamikaze album was fire. I gotta listen to that shit again. Okay. I gotta listen to that okay. shit in a long ass time. But there was a video, and he was in a Blink One Eighty Two music video before he was famous. Who? Eminem. Oh, okay. Isn't that crazy? Was he in the pit or something? Yeah, he All was just like things? behind, and he was just like dapping somebody up, and you oh, could really? barely see an him. extra, huh? Yeah, an extra before he was famous. That's fucking sick. He was like twenty three years old in that video. Someone, someone found it. Really? After someone was like, "Hey, is that Eminem?" 23? Yeah. When did he try, When did he get famous? Probably in his 30s, bro. And, and where is he right now? Oh, Eminem's chilling, dog. Where the hell is my at? I bet you he's just at home fucking chilling. You I think, think he still lives in Detroit. I don't, I don't think he ever left. You think he's a diddler? You think he's a part of that? Uh, Fuck no. think he's a part of that crowd? The diddlers? A diddler? What do you mean? The Diddy Gang? Oh, fuck no. No. Eminem would have got fucking flamed for it already. Like, I don't think Dre's a part of it. Eminem. I think Jay-Z, for sure. Oh, yeah, sure. he's at the top. But, uh, yeah. Jay-Z loves getting his ass ate, by the way. I bet you he loves getting his ass ate. He looks like the type. I wouldn't know. He looks like the type. Do I look like the type? Yeah. <laughs> I look like the type. Do I really? What's yeah. a, what? Do I? Yeah. It's also it's because I know you, so that's that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so like, if I didn't know you, maybe we could like post a picture and let's see what's up. We almost went viral. That was cool. <laughs> We're at twenty four k views. That was awesome. It's all natural, baby. 
It's all natural here. We're not fucking pushing nothing. We're not buying bots. No Russian fucking. Dude, that was awesome. No Russian farming. Yeah, because I just posted it right, and it took two days to get big. Because like I posted it, and I found out something, but I posted it, and I was like, damn, dude, we got like three views on these. I was like, oh fuck, whatever. Then I woke up. I don't know if I woke up, but I got a comment. I screenshot. I sent it to you. I was like, this just made me happy. And by happy, I meant like happy with tears. That shit made me happy, sad. Because I was like, oh shit, that like just it. Usually the comments says this person commented, but this time the comment popped up and I saw it. I was like, whoa. And I sent it and I looked at it. I was like, oh shit, we're like at 6,000. I was like, that's crazy. And then every time I would look, it'd go up another thousand views, another thousand views, another thousand views. And I was like, holy shit. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Yeah. And then uh, it stopped at like 22.9. I think we're like at 24.9 right now, but it's like, it's slowing down because every time I'd open it, it'd be like 100 plus notifications. Now it's like at 30. And no, dude, but that was cool, dude. And we appreciate every single one of those views. Yeah. Every single one. And like, I would, I try to respond to every comment. This bitch pissed me off, by the even, way. Even the haters. We love yeah. the haters. Oh, we love the haters. We love Dude, the haters. Dude, this guy was like, there. I took a six and, and I didn't get fucked up like that. And I was like, well, he took two, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if he took threes or six. <laughs> and I'm a bitch, <laughs> by the way. So, mind your fucking business, bitch. I do make that a real. Like, you know how they like, you know like how people like make a content of comments? <laughs> I'm gonna put that I'll put the comment there next to your face there you fucking go yeah but I was like teach that bitch a there's lesson. this one girl she liked it reposted it and then uh, the repost will be at the top under the thing so I, I remember seeing the page she went back to it like two days later she was like oh I thought he was cute and I was like oh he just threw up and then I was like ah. I was like bitch he's still cute the fuck <laughs> as you're throwing up the fuck he's still cute get the call, fuck out here with that call me Puki Suki baby what's up oh that's what I was gonna get to fucking Desmadre Puki Suki um I think Gabe uh, from Darson posted it. It was like, if you want your band out there and you want people to like, if you want people to book you, you need to be in the scene. You can't just fucking shoot it out there, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. And like, I totally agree with that. And I don't know why that was going through my head uh, just today. It just randomly popped in my head. But it was like, dude, if you want to be booked and you want to like start playing shows, you got to show up to all the shows and you got to like, you know, let the bookers see you. Very similar to what to what I see a lot on Twitter, right? With the with the Twitter hardcore community and shit like that. Uh huh. The, how they say I haven't um, got in there, dude. They I tried. I haven't either. I haven't I tried. either. But I, I do see some stuff on my timeline when it refreshes and shit, you know. But they say if um if you're not contributing to your local scene, your band is not getting put on. Yeah, dude. That's it. And contributing can be done in many different ways. Many different ways. Examples? Examples. It can be done showing up to the show and dancing. Okay? It can be um, buying merch from from bands. Facts. Right? It can be... It can be buying a ticket for a band and then leaving before they even play. Yes. But you still bought a ticket and merch. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. For every <laughs> band that was there. Every fucking band. Um, Continue. It can be, you know, for example, the Rapid Fest. Jason, right? The guy I posted... Oh, yes, on my story. the guy who built the stage. Yeah, so him. He does a lot of work as far as, um, you know, being with the scene and helping out and stuff like that. And at the show, I even saw that he had his son there. And How his, old? Seemed like a teenager. Okay. Very young. Uh-huh. A kid for sure. But um, he was he was dancing himself. And, dude, he, the style was fucking awesome. Uh-huh. And it just seems contributing can be done also in the sense that you're bringing the new generation in. Yeah, 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 totally. Like Jason Not is. gatekeeping. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, honestly, that post I sent you today was fucking hilarious to me. He was like, gatekeeper of the week. And then <laughs> comment to find out. I thought that was hilarious. It should be done at times, though. At times. Yeah, at times, but that was fucking... Hey, everyone's on tor- uh, torture now. At times. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Did you hear... Uh, I think you saw the video. Uh, what's his name? Gavin from Knock Loose. What's his name? Gavin? Brian Garris. Brian Garris. He was like, honestly... Torture's on fucking repeat. We had to drive from here to here. It was like eight hours. I think we listened to all eight hours. <laughs> and I think that was us on our drive to fucking... Yes, dude. I didn't even notice it. We were just Kentucky. talking. And I was like, hey, what is this? Uh, torture. Let us know what the... We we have a theory of what the album really means. No, so actually, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh-huh. but it is a very politically charged album. Yes. It is. Very. But You I, can't understand, but no, you, you could feel. Th- no, but there's actually... Um, they uh, there's descriptions of the songs somewhere. 
Oh, I've, I've oh. seen pictures of okay. it, but I never really read into it. But there is an actual... Were we close? I don't know. I ne- like I said, I never read into it. But we should definitely look into we it should, after this. Okay, so we were listening to it. We're getting towards the end of the of that album. It's an album. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's long. A fucking banger of an album. Okay. You can't understand them. It sounds like a frog. I love it. Love it. And Jose started describing it, and I was like, that's exactly how I feel at the end. It, it, it paints like a picture of a story of, of a military, Black Hawk Down type shit. And at the end, it's, it feels so happy. It's like they're getting saved, and there's a helicopter coming and saving them. And that's how I felt. You started describing it. I was like, bro, I feel the same way. And that's even the album cover, dude. It you painted a I mean? picture in my head. And we obviously have different pictures because you can't see what's in my head, but yeah. it, it, it was beautiful. Fucking beautiful. And, and that was one of the few times that I've ever had, I don't know if I've said this before on here, but one of the few instances where I've had such a clear, vivid image uh-huh. in my head, uh-huh. that was from something, uh, music, for example, like audio. Yeah. Happened only twice. Okay, second time? Or first, first time? First time. The torture was the second time. Okay. First time ever, I was listening to Distort. Never heard of them. Distort, they're going to be at Simon Fury uh, this year. And I was listening to their intro track, and I could see a clear image of them playing this intro track at Sound and Fury. I could see... Oh, that's right. Remember you told me that. Yes. Yeah. I could see people going across the pit. I could see what they're fucking wearing. I could see the beads of sweat uh-huh. on their fucking faces. You had an epiphany. I had an epiphany. epiphany. Shout out. CIC. CIC, baby. Fuck yeah. Uh. But literally, and those two times was the only time it's ever happened in my life. And torture was one of them. Shout out. I love it. It's the bops. The bops. It's the bops. Everyone's be posting torture now. It's the bops. I, okay, so I do follow the guy Jeff. I, did he put you on a torture? Jeff? The, the Florida guy? Uh, no, I saw it. Um, I don't. I saw it on someone's 5x5. Five five. Mm. I loved it because I love America. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And that's instantly America. Yeah, because it's literally the American flag with a soldier. <laughs> and running. I loved it with the name torture going across the top. Fuck yeah. Count okay. me the fuck in. I saw Jeff post it shortly after we started playing it. Like you you played it after you played Jeff it. Jeff who? The guy from Florida. The hardcore guy. Oh, okay. Hardcore Jeff. Understood. So I saw him. Hella po- he hella posted. it. I don't agree with everything he says. And I don't have to. Yeah, no, neither do I. I. Feel like, I feel like there's a lot of dick eaters out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree. I like to have my own opinion. Yes. Um, but yeah. Anyways, like back to the hardcore thing, like getting in the scene. I remember um, me and you were talking like, dude, we got to get some more guests on here, this, this, and that. And I was like, we should get some hardcore guests. And you said, yeah, but we can't just ask them, bro. Like, you know, we got to start going to more local shows. We got to be part of the scene. Yes. Same thing. Same absolutely. example. Yes. And I totally agree. And you know what? That's also a way that, that we're contributing because, I mean, although that we're not going to be, this might be a little leakage. Might be a little leakage. We're leaking something here. Okay. Special guest coming soon. Yeah, special guest. I'm I'm so excited for it actually. S- so excited. Hey, the thing- special guest coming soon from the Orange County. Yeah. Orange County. Now just leave it at that. That's it. Well, it's like the same thing. Wearing his merch, you know, he respects it. We've posted them. I I know I've fucking posted their shit. I've been to plenty of their shows. That's also true. Very true. And they're just fucking awesome. Absolutely. Their show Absolutely. was fucking sick. And um, but that's also something that that we can say we're contributing in a sense that we are kind of bringing this person in and showing a lot of our viewers something that they're not really Uh familiar with. And I know that like they have more followers than us and stuff. So it's kind of like they're contributing to us too. It's like a win win for everybody. Dude, everybody scratches everybody's back, baby. Just like you said, it's a win win. Yes, sir. It's a win win. And I remember he specifically told me something and it blew my mind. And when we met him, he seemed like a great guy. Super chill. Super chill. He said, oh, yeah, I remember I've been listening. I've been in the hardcore for like 13 years. And I was like, bro, brother. I want, I, I want, I want, I want to, I want to. I want to pick his brain. Know about his knowledge. Yes, but I was like, brother, I've only been in this shit for a year at least. Because, okay, let's be honest. I'm not counting February. I was barely like 
you barely showed me hardcore and you barely invited me to my first show and I got fucked up. I would say like maybe like around April. So I've been it for about like a year. Mm-hmm. So 13 fucking years of hardcore. That's insane. That's awesome. That's insane. And it, you know, we'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out you a guys little will find more. Out soon. We'll find out more about them. We'll give you all the Sometime deets. Sometime in May, but I'm special excited. guest nonetheless. I'm excited to have very him. special. I really want Gabe on. I want. I've actually been wanting to text him. Damn him. I feel like it's weird though, because we're. I was editing the pod. And I was like, I wonder if there's any hardcore bands coming out of Upland. He's the guy that would know. Patience, patience. He's the guy that would know. Oh yeah, dude. I didn't really focus on the bands I sent you. Um, no, not no. much. No. Did you like? Did you play any of them? Nope. Yeah, I didn't really fuck with them. No offense. Say hey, shout out Upland. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to 2002, because I guess I guess that music scene was popping back then for those three bands. <laughs> there was a third one, but the fucking page blocked it. And I was like, I'm not paying for this shit. Fuck you. I think I think we need to get it started again. <laughs> that's what that's what we gotta do. We gotta get our boy Ricky on here. I need to stop slacking on the drums. I need to stop slacking on the drums. Hey, honestly, Ricky had a. I liked it. And it, and, it, and it, it can only go up from there. It can only go up from there. Literally. L- literally. 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 So let me ask you this, dude. You've got a pretty pretty big day coming up. How do you feel? Are you ready? Um, I'm giving birth. You're giving birth. You're fucking... You clearly no. look like you're nine months in. Yeah. <laughs> you're ready to pop. That's why I'm so bloated. Uh, no, I fucking... I'm so fucking nervous, dude. I've been stressing out. Like, uh... More uh, nervous than excited, huh? Yeah, I was on the phone with my girl for like two hours yesterday, just like completely stressing out over the whole thing. I was like, I don't have enough fucking money for this shit. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? And she was like, just send me $100, I'll buy all the stuff, and I'll worry about the rest of the cost. So she's going to help me out. That was pretty fucking dope. But um, I thought that was pretty dope. And I just it's just been fucking stressing me out, man. So, so what about day of? You think you'll be stressed out? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And what pissed me off is, is that uh, I've been looking for weeks, sunny 70s. I was like, fuck yeah, 70s for weeks, for weeks. And then on Tuesday at work, we got some material in. I was like, hey, I got to make space for it because we don't have any room. And they're like, okay, just get it in before the weekend because remember, it's going to rain. And I go, excuse me? I was like, no, it's going to be sunny. She was like, oh, no, it's going to rain. Oh, bitch. Bitch, this <laughs> is news to me, bitch. Yeah. What I'm fuck? not calling her a bitch. I'm going to like, bitch. But... Oh, man, that pissed me off. So then it's like, fuck, dude, now I got to get a tent for the tables and shit because I can't have people sit, sitting outside in the rain. Oh, shit, dog. America got hundreds, fucking thousands of them sitting outside in the rain, dog. Yeah. Fuck, what's, what's another 40? This is exactly what I've been saying. This is what I told you, bro. I think I told you. Oh, no, I told my girlfriend. Should we get political on the podcast? Let's get uh, political. <laughs> Why the fuck are we sending so much goddamn money overseas we got fucking hundreds of thousands of homeless people and we gotta worry about here we got our fucking veterans that we're getting paid shit the VA is shit fix that shit that fucking pisses me off fighting a war that we have no fucking business in exactly no fucking business we have so much fucking people here that are in need of our help and it's like dude you, you saw how much money that we gave to Hawaii it was fucking like chump each, change it was like each person would get each resident would get seven hundred fifty dollars. That's change. fucking chump change. We're sending billions and billions and billions to Ukraine, billions to fucking Ukraine, and now we sent money to fucking Pakistan or wherever the fucks is it Pakistan, Palestine. We sent money to Palestine and Israel now. But we're, so what the fuck are we doing? We're fucked. We're That's fucked. It. We're fucked. Anyways, that was a Daddy's Dungeon political segment, and I'm done. I will get mad off air. Appreciate it. Um. But, you America. know... America first. It's going to be very American at this party. You know, <laughs> tacos, cerveza, very American. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm some- excited for the tacos. I haven't had his tacos in about a year. Shout out Mr. Asada. Um, honestly, I, th- I thought he gave me a great price. Great, and- great price compared to the competitors. Maybe we should hold up on the shout out. and Maybe we should get a taste of the food first. <laughs> 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 so we'll backtrack on that first a bit. Okay, well, when we'll I had him, back. I've had him twice. They're both pretty good to me. Hey, no cap. Okay, okay. No cap. But uh, no. Uh, he gave me a, a fair price compared to the competitors. I won't say what the price is, but it, a fair price. And uh, We talked about it a little bit earlier. I, yeah, I would agree with you. You know, it was pretty pretty decent. Compared to the other the other three people I texted, very fair. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, I am excited. I'm excited for the baby because she has no idea. 
No fucking idea. I am upset. My grandparents are not coming. They're not coming. They canceled on me. It's all good. At least they let you know. I am worried about my aunt, though. Because knowing, oh, knowing her, she's going to make it all about her. And she's going to get mad, like, oh, why is this person, like, doing this? And, like, uh, just, like, just, just shut up, eat your food, and just enjoy the time. What the oh. fuck? That's a first, bro. It's the first time I ever had a notification pop up on here. There go all your photos rebooting back in. I f- <laughs> that, that'll be a godsend. What, I, dude, what would you do if that happened? I'd probably cry. You go, you go into your camera roll and you yeah, see all those cry, photos back. But I started shedding tears because uh-huh. I was like, dude, four years worth of photos that I haven't backed up, gone. Fucking gone. Because I'm a fucking idiot. And I sat there and I fucking waited and it said, okay, backed up, done. It literally sent me a notification like backed up, hit done. Or back up again. I hit done. And everything was there. And then I come back and it was gone. And then it turns out I needed to click for gallery. I needed to click a button for gallery. Because I was looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? So I click it. And then it says, yes, back up this. But everything else didn't have a fucking button. So luckily it had all my notes and stuff saved. Luckily that saved because otherwise all my passwords are gone. (laughs) Oh, that's a real big one right there. And I've noticed, dude, you, you you put a lot of weight on pictures. I've noticed like pictures and like videos and so, stuff like that. It's a like a lot of weight. Means like a so for me, how I visualize it, sometimes I have like a photographic memory to where I can just like remember things in my head. So it's like that picture I remember that day in my head, like as a little highlight reel. Okay. As so like, like a bookmark in a way. Like a bookmark. And if it comes up, I see it and I go, Oh, that was a really happy memory for me and I remember it. And that's gone. That's now gone. From me, that dude, was that was fucking stolen from me. You know what, dude? I don't think I. Now that I'm really thinking about it, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever looked at a photo, and and really like thought to myself to go back to that uh-huh. time, that place in my head, and really think about how I felt at that time. I, I don't know if it's like I'm really thinking about it. It just kind of just happens. I think it might be also like autism. the CTE. I might have autism. No, but it also might be my CTE that doesn't allow me to get to that barrier. But have you ever had that? I, I'm telling you, I never felt that. So then it's not it's not CTE, bro. Oh, it's not it's, the CTE, you're right. I think I'm just stupid. I think you're just ret- retarded. I'm just, have, you, have you been seeing that? People have been tweeting like, oh, don't say the R word. Have you seen that? That's retarded. That's so retarded. Some guy got fired recently for saying that word. As gay as fuck. <laughs> for sure yeah so like this girl this one this one went viral this girl said oh we gotta stop saying the r word it's so bad it's so messed up and then this guy screenshot quote tweeted her he's like is this you and there's like fucking 50 tweets of her saying retard <laughs> fucking bitch don't bite your tongue bitch fucking bitch fucking hypocrite yeah uh it's just like a photographic memory type thing where literally like oh damn that was a really good memory and then it's just fucking gone it's gone so I think that's probably why I don't hold so much weight on you photos know photos or videos because I never really sit down and take the time to appreciate it. To appreciate it exactly. Have you ever thought about maybe doing it now? No, I never. No, that I mean, you you literally just put that idea into my head that I don't do that. Uh huh. Not that I should do it, that I don't. Uh huh. Like I do still have Snapchats. Like, obviously from since they started doing the saves, I've had them for fucking ever, and. Uh, this is kind of funny. I guess I'll just put it out there. I thought, you know, I, I went at a deep dive and deleted everything with my baby mom on there. Sometimes a video will pop up with a baby or something. She's in it. I'll still delete it. Gone. You know, and that's, and and that's it, funny to me. And if that makes you feel better, it does. that's, 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 that's all that's so necessary. Great. Makes me feel amazing. Because um, if I, I mean, if I really think about it, I mean, the only time I'm ever in my camera roll that often is at work. For porn. No. No. Is that work for work? Work stuff. Work stuff. It's all work related shit. Measurements and stuff? It, no, it's just prints. Ah, okay. Just prints that I that I need pictures of. I'm uh-huh. not going to carry it. Other people need prints too. Uh-huh. You know, so I just need a little portion of it. Snap a pic. Yeah. Send a dick, you know. Yeah. That's it. I don't know. It, it, it just affected me a lot. It no, just I, it I, fucking I, sucked. And I totally... That's totally understandable. Because... Um, if I were to get all, like, I'm sure it's the same for you. If you just wake up one day and 
your whole music library was gone. Oh, that would be terrible. I do want a new playlist, though. Earth-shattering. Earth-shattering. I want to I wanna test out my Spotify, because I still think it's wrong. Almost every Suicide Boy song I skip now, because just, I just overplayed them for about four years. They're still on my top. How is it even possible? Who knows, dude? They just... they they That's, um... That's uh, predictive programming right it's there. It's fucking that's bullshit. So I feel like if I make a new playlist and start playing that a lot, maybe it'll be different. I know, I know Tay Tay is going to be right at the top. Wow. Because... Because you love her. Dude, you listen to every single album in a row? I haven't got... I'm, I'm on 1989 right now. I don't know if I want to do that. It's all the bops. All of it in a row? <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's kind of it, it's kind of hard. It's a little much. That's well, a lot of music. I'm only on her fifth album. She has fucking fourteen. Seventy. Of them. She's got seventy. Fucking fourteen albums. Oh my god. It's a lot of work. Um, I'm only on the fifth one right now. I'm like halfway through. Cause like like you said, it's it's a little much. Couldn't do it. I had to switch it up. Yeah, Satan's could spawn albums at a fucking snap of a finger. Yo, you think she's a part of the Antichrist? No, I'm just, I was just, I was just fucking talking shit. I am excited for the baby, though, just because there's going to be some kids there. I've had some people can't tell me already. It's okay. I hope she has a great time. I hope she has the best time of her life thus far. You want to know what's funny? Is that, oh, this is like her first big party. She's had like little parties with like family members and shit. But this is like an actual party game with a jumper and shit. I haven't told her, so she's going to be so excited. Anywho, um, my girl's like, oh, so what gift are we going to get her? I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is the gift. What no. the fuck? I already fucking got her like some stuff for her birthday. That was ten days ago. This is now, and there's people coming. They're gonna bring her gifts. I ain't buying her shit. Oh hell yeah, dog. She's not even gonna know if I bought her anything or not. You really think? Okay, let me ask you this. Let's just say wedding, right? Let's just say wedding. People bring gifts, obviously. Uh. Do I need to get a gift for my spouse to add to that pile? Of oh, hundred percent. Really? Yes, sir. That's totally different. To add to the pile of gifts. Although, although, there might be a wedding gift aside at a separate date. Do I have to put one in for the occasion? For that actual reception or whatever? Wait, wait, wait. Like, you're getting married. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm getting married. People are coming to my fucking wedding. Uh There's a big old table. They're piling gifts on there as they come in. Uh No gift, no entry, bitch. Oh, fuck. But they're piling them on there. Do I need to put a gift on the table for my spouse? And does she need to put one on there for me? No. Not on that table. I think uh, in private. Oh, you're going to give her that gift under the sheets. Uh, yeah. That's what you're talking so, about. So I think in private. Going to give her that get, black hole. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. It's just something that is more intimate. Like more, hey, this is something that I feel that you would like. Like a, like a necklace or something. Something nice. Okay. You know, that's something that, like, reminds them of that day. Like, same thing, like a photo. I didn't even think of it. I still have the photo book with some photos. That's cool. I still have that. That's cool. I guess I can't bitch too much. From here on out... I like photo books. <laughs> from here on out, the only gifts I will ever give will be made of metal. And I will be making them by hand. So if you had to give me a gift right now... What would you give me? Metal box. I'll give you a metal box of a fucking... A storage box? How big? I'll give you a piggy bank. That's pretty cool. What, does it look like a pig or is it just a box? It's just a fucking steel box. Are you heliarching it? No. Just st- normal spot wall? These are fucking rivets, bro. <laughs> this shit's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's you have easy. a rivet gun? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Well, yeah. How else am I going to get the fucking rivets a press? In there? You know? A press? I only use rubber guns, baby. I think that I think these forearms are so big. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. No, yeah, but from a rivet press. <laughs> that's all I that's all I fucking do at work, just rivets. Rivets. I know you have that sound stuck in your head, don't you? What are you talking about? Like if I if I told you to make the rivet sound, you could make the rivet sound. When the rivet you shoot the gun. No, see these aren't automatic. These are just manual handheld guns. Oh a Yes. Oh, okay. You know, I thought it was like, a, it's a pump. You got a pump. You got a pump. Uh, you know? Oh, so your forearms are fucking big for that well, shit. Well. Amen. Hopefully it's contributing because I've really been trying. It's hard. You know, it's hard. Did you try that one I taught you? I, re- I did, yes. I did. Did you feel a good burn? I've really been trying. And what I also do, I did feel a great burn. And what I also do, I intentionally at work, when I use my snips, and I, I don't have the biggest hands, obviously. 
I'm a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So sometimes, especially when I'm cut a real thick metal, I gotta fucking I gotta use both hands. You know. So what I've been doing when I when I cut this shit, I do it with my left and my right one hand, and by the end of it, I oh, <laughs> dude, I'll be, oh, what the fuck, oh. Oh, I'm gonna be like this. But, oh, because my forearm is so fucking pumped and enraged with blood that literally wants to explode. And then my left, awesome. oh, don't even get me started on my left. This shit never gets fucking used. So this one's even. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this one never gets used. Um, yeah, so we're on week two of the diet. Week two is tomorrow. Six pounds down. How's the gym? That shit's hard. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. It is hard. It's hard. Hey, but you're doing the hardest part, the diet. But I lost six pounds. But you're doing the hardest part. I feel more proud of myself because when I did that challenge, the actual challenge, I wouldn't eat nothing. And now you're eating the right way. Yeah. You're, you're doing it the fucking right way. Yeah. Brother. Because I don't feel pressured, you know? I yeah. feel pressured to beat that bitch's ass. She was talking shit. Imagine, imagine someone talking shit to you at a challenge and then you fucking lose. How does that make you? Should even show up to work the next day, dumb bitch. Yeah, that'll make me feel like J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. Man, I'll be, I'm sweating everywhere, bro. I'm gonna have to shower after this. <laughs> like, I'm sweating, sweating, like I was you're in the car again. You about ready to get out of here? I'm ready. What, what, what do we got on the fucking timer? Nah, it, it don't matter. If, if, that if says ready, 20 minutes, bro. We're ready. It says 20 minutes on the timer. Hell no, it don't say no fucking 20 minutes. I know I'm retarded. <laughs> but I know fucking 20 minutes when I feel it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Everyone, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Big Deal 2Gs underscore underscore on Twitter. Don't even follow me on there. I don't go on that shit. Uh, Daddy's Engine Pod on all platforms except for Twitter. Daddy's Engine P on Twitter. Um, eat my ass and lick my toes. Everybody, Instagram, Twitter, Sick Puppy 2Es. Daddy's Engine Pod at gmail.com. Daddy's Engine Pod on uh, Instagram. Uh, Daddy's Engine P. Um, Twitter, fucking like, comment, subscribe, share. 106. 107 Peace. next week. Peace. Oh, I'm sweating, brother. Dude, look, my ass is fucking wet. Is it? My no way. Like, no, no thanks. Feel my thigh. How about that? Oh, my God. <laughs>